Hi, I'm Don Modan from SampleLibraryReview.com. Today we're going to be checking out Nordic Disc Contrabass on this Quick Look. Nordic Disc Contrabass. I have instruments has released this. It's an upright bass instrument designed for film and TV composers. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what's so special about this thing is it's got this fun ice control up in the front. Um, any specs that you want to know, I'll include a link to take you straight over to the page. And it normally sells for 150 euros. Guess what? On a big sale at our friends at VST Buzz. I'll include first link below, take you over to VST Buzz. You can pick this puppy up for 64% off. Now only. 59 euros. All right, I've got Nordic Bass here, as you can see. It's got an interesting system for key switching. And uh, what I'm going to do is play through a bunch of the articulations and share what I've learned about it. It's got this Wales legato. I'm going to mute my mic and we'll have a listen. <laughs> The other thing this instrument has is these little uh, red keys here, and they will give us a different articulation. Or maybe they don't. They do on these phrases, which are the green keys. That's what I was going to get to next. And I know the next thing you're going to say, you're going to say, let's turn that effect off. I want to hear the samples recorded dry. Got a, both a mic and a DI signal. And what else is cool is you'll also be able to just reverse it. Boom, twice the sample set. Now on these green keys, uh, there's four banks of these. That's what these red key switches do here. You could play this one here. Let's not do reverse because it takes a while to get there after the fade. <laughs> So you got like 80, maybe 100 some phrases built into just this first um, articulation. Glissando Wales. Let's listen to this. And there's a couple of these uh, harmony whales patches. I think this effect here, this warp and ice control, this thing's really nice. I'm, I, I, I think it's a perfect kind of effect to go with this instrument thus far. Some pizzicato. Maybe not for those pizzicatos.
There's a collection of double stop pizzicatos, which I think this is pretty cool. The key switches do change the blue keys this time around. Hear how it plays an octave down? I'm only playing one note. Change our key switches, the red ones, and you get something different. Moving on, we can see we got a thumb choke pits. This might be a perfect opportunity to explore the arpeggiator. Yeah, fun time with the arpeggiator. Pretty simple, just be able to program your rhythms in here. You can change your steps. How do you like that sound effect? Able to go one or two octaves, although this instrument does not have more than two octaves, so there's not a whole lot of jumping around. Some rate changes, and then you've got four options for how they trigger up, down, up, down, and down and up. Let's move on to the next one. Weird pizzicato. And let's turn off the arpeggiator. This would be a good one, I think, for us to explore the reverb options. We've got a large church. Jazz hall. That's kind of neat. Short plate. Small ambience. Large ambience. Echo. Auto park. And medium hall. And they do have a delay built in here. Okay, let's move on to the next one. We've got harmonics. A nice broad range of these short harmonics. And then I think we have a little like detache harmonic. Maybe not. These might be cool with the uh, old ice pulled up. Ice, ice, baby. There we go. Very nice. Natural harmonics. Anjor. Does anyone know what that is? How that performance is made? Is that a common performance there? I'm not familiar with that. Dirty Tremolo. We'll utilize our dynamics function here. I've 
programming it to follow my mod wheel. And now we'll move on to the second set of the instrument's um, textures, which are articulations. We've got twisted piccato textures. as well as more textures with wide body percussion. Wood body, excuse me. This might be something that the arpeggiator would be kind of nice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice sounds. Boat textures. <laughs> Let's turn that arpeggiator off. Yeah, those are really nice. I like those boat textures. Low engines. Yeah, a number of really nice, unusual sounds. We've got um, unusual textures coming up. Those are kind of interesting, a little surprising. Got a collection of risers here. And because we can just hit reverse. Get a whole nother sample set out of those. Falls. And some pizzicato drone. I don't know what this would be like. Let's check it out. Yeah, oh, that's kind of cool. Drone number two. Almost sounds like PVC pipe at the point. And that's going to do it for this quick look of Nordis Contra Bass. Let's put the timer down. I'll tell you my thoughts.
really nice sample set. I really think this mic up here just sounds so nice. Beautiful stereo captured of this bass. And I think the, um, the articulations, uh, I think it's an odd way to have to go up and click to switch everything in this day and age when so many standardized ways is to do key switches all around. It would have been nice to just have even more key switches. Switch through these automatically for myself. The legatos are really odd. They, sometimes the, the legato speed, I don't quite hear it when I crank it up. Textures are really nice and useful. I think I'll be able to get away with a lot of those for effects. Some of them, again, are really odd. Um, the Harmonics are short, no matter what you have, so you don't have any long-held harmonics. Pizzicatos sound good. Double-stop pizzicatos sound really nice. Uh, it's really strange when it has that doubling playing uh, after, like that. Don't know if that's something that you can host sync to your tempo or change the way that it plays. This ice and warp effect works wonderfully for this instrument. It adds a whole new cinematic dimension. Arpeggiation, I don't know how much I'm gonna use it for this kind of library. Uh, although you can get a little inspiration, I guess, with some of those wood percussion and whatnot. Reverbs sound great, delays easy to use. Overall, I'm really pleased with the sample set. I think I could do some scoring um, with this. Definitely be able to score something cool something unique, uh, a lot of dimension and cinematic sound. What about you? What do you think about Nordisk Contrabass? Love to hear your thoughts. Please comment below. And don't forget, it's on that special promo price, special deal, 64% off. Pick it up over at VST Buzz. That'll be the first link below. Don't forget, some developers know where traffic comes from, and some developers are partner sample library review. At no cost to you, would get a small commission if you want to pick 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 up Nordisk Contrabass through our links. It'll help me keep the site going and more quick look videos for you. Be sure to head over to Sample Library Review and we'll see you back on the channel on Friday for the weekly Deal Compressor Show.